youth training has come to an end and he finally gets his own curse gear. It took us quite a long time before he finally got it. He went through some harsh training and was able to make it this far. This episode of Seraph of the End didn't only show this character development on you, Yoichi and Shio, but also their struggles and how they were able to overcome it. Although Yuichi was kinda having a hard time dealing with his own demon, but he still managed to get a hold on him in the end. So the episode started off with Yoichi fighting against his own demon. The demon imitates his, her, her sister and tells him that he is weak, that's why her sister was killed by the vampires. Yoichi was kinda losing it after hearing that from a demon that was trying to take control of him. Then we could see you fighting against his own demon. It was an, e an easy fight because this demon was using his images of his friends to weaken him, but you had such a strong will and resolve and you wouldn't let a demon take over him. In the end, you won, and the demon chose him to be her master. The same thing also happened to Shiho. He fought his own demon even though it was imitating his sixth sister. He was also acknowledged by the demon as his new master. Demons fuse into their weapons and, their, and thus transforming them into curse gears. Yoichi was the only one that failed to defeat his own demon because his heart was dark and weak. The demon was able to take over his body. Yu and Shio tried to fight to possess Yoichi, but he was just too strong for them. Gurin even ordered them both to kill Yoichi, but he just couldn't let his friend die by his hands. So he has no choice but to reach out to him and tell him that he's stronger than the demon, and he will avenge his sister's death. Yoichi then breaks out of the demon's grasp and was able to control it. Then the episode ends with the vampires finally making their move to destroy the Imperial Demon Army. It was a good episode, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> also, Yu's curse gear looks pretty normal, but we still don't know what it can do. From the looks of it, it is quite powerful. Yoichi and Shihos looks cool though, and they're pretty strong too. Judging from the opening visuals of this anime, they're as strong as Yu's Asuramaru, his curse gear. The name of her of his curse gear. <clears throat> also, the good thing about this episode is that you and his friends have finally obtained their curse gears. With it, they can kill vampires now. But the big question is, will it be enough to kill the strongest of vampires? Because, let's face it, the vampires are ridiculously strong as, well, especially the top tiers. You might need more power to, you might need more power to, in order to kill them. Especially when he fights Mika. I think Mika will be the strongest upon you will face in this anime. Mika has the blood of the Queen of Vampires. He has a force to be reckoned with, and you will surely have a hard time dealing with him. I can't wait for the moment you reunite with Mika. One thing for sure, it is going to be a one hell of a fight, and you will soon realize that he is no longer the Mika he knew. In order to bring back the real Mika, you must fight him to death. So yeah, that's my whole take on Serve of the end, episode 6. Let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section down below. See you in the next episode of Serve of the End.